Flying yourself places in a small plane isn't as hard as you might think, and you might be surprised by the cost. We usually fly to small airports close to our destination, but we can fly into big airports too, and even some neighborhoods with runways. You don't have to call ahead or anything, just contact ATC on the radio when you're getting close. Athens Tower, Cessna 22318, 10 miles to the west, 3500, full stop with the weather. For parking, you can either look for hangar space for the night or just tie your plane down on the ramp. Prices range from free to about $35 a night on the high side. Generally, you'll have some sort of facility fee, somewhere around $50 that's usually waived when you buy 10 or 15 gallons of gas. You can do full service or self-serve, and plane gas is somewhere between $4 and $9 a gallon right now in the U.S., depending on location. Once you land, you can Uber where you need to go, walk in some cases, or borrow what's called a crew car for about an hour for free. You can even fly your plane internationally. In January, we flew 1,600 miles from Atlanta to St. Bart's and stopped in a total of seven countries. If you're interested in learning to fly, Google flight schools near me and go take a discovery flight. 